السلام علیکم خوش آمدید دوبارہ سے آج ہماری سیکنڈ ویڈیو ہے آج ہماری چھٹی تھی تو ہم یہ سیکنڈ ویڈیو ہے یہ بہت سارے لوگوں نے ریکویسٹ کی تھی یہ ہے فرسٹ ڈے ان مائی فرسٹ ڈے ان پاکستان کون ہے یہ میں نام نہیں پتا ایک سیکنڈ دیکھوں کیا نام ہے اس کا ٹریول لائٹ ہے نا یہ ٹریول لائٹ کر کے کوئی ہے مجھے نام نہیں پتا وہ تو ابھی دیکھیں گے ویڈیو میں نے بھی نہیں دیکھی کیا ہے تو وہ فرسٹ ڈے ان پاکستان ہے اس کی سو پہلے سے مل رہے ہیں آپ ہماری ببا شیر سے السلام ہے ایم جیس ٹوڈے وی گن آبویسلی بی ڈوئنگ سیکنڈ ویڈیو یا آن سیکنڈ ویڈیو ٹوڈے اٹس دا فرسٹ ڈیز ان پاکستان آئی تھنک آئی ہیو واچڈ او یو ایوا زو بیک Yeah, we done yeah. Eva Zubek. That's a different one. They people are requesting it. Yeah, people are requesting this one, so we're gonna give it a go. Shall we start the video then? Yeah. All right. I first heard it years ago, long before I arrived, long before I even knew much about this country, but I kept hearing it over and over, as if you all knew that one day I would have to come here, I would have to take all of you on this adventure. It's been said to me thousands of times, and now... I can say it to you. Welcome to Pakistan. You better run. <laughs> Guys, the day has finally come for me to go to Pakistan. I got all the stuff. And you know what's waiting for us there? <laughs> Let's go. No. Adventure something. Guys, I have just arrived in Karachi and I am so so excited. This is my hotel room here. It is so nice. Everybody here is just so welcoming and genuinely nice and like excited that I'm here and it's so I know, just so great. Look what this a girl city, gave me. Karachi. I am honestly like so tired from all of my flights. I don't think I've slept in like 18 hours. That's why I'm doing crazy things like what? Uh, yeah, but honestly, I'm just so excited about being in Pakistan right now. I mean, I've wanted to come here for so, so long and it just seemed impossible before. And now I'm actually here and I'm so excited that I just, I don't even care that I'm tired. I want to just go out and start exploring. My first stop in Pakistan was Karachi, the largest city in the country. It didn't take me long to get an impression of how massive and vibrant it was, or to make new friends. Here with Nada. I am here at the beach right now. There are so many people here and there's so much going on. They had horses, so of course you guys know that I had to ride the horse very fast, but there's too many people around to uh, keep going, so there's just so much going on. There's all of these people um, having fun and relaxing. This place called Sea View. Don't shake the table. Hi guys. 
Good morning. Today I am going to try to talk a little bit about my first impressions of Pakistan, seeing as this is my first video here. As of right now, I have been here in Pakistan for about a month, so going back through these shots and like editing all of this and uh, talking about my first impressions is really cool because I get to kind of put myself back in that place again of what I felt and saw and thought when I first came here because as of now I have seen a lot of the country and well you'll have to see the the rest of the videos for all that. My absolute first impression is really easy to tell you guys because it was definitely just how welcoming and hospitable everyone is here. I have traveled to a lot of countries. Pakistan has been the most welcoming. Okay, this is something that I really loved because I love when places develop their own kind of character and uh, uniqueness. And I definitely saw that in Pakistan. Um, I think that the first example would be all of these buses that I saw driving around in Karachi. And they are so unique and cool. And I could describe them, but I think the best way is to just show you guys. Guys, look at this bus. Isn't this the coolest bus you ever saw? I used to travel in these buses when I go to work. No belt, nothing. Just. It's about to be evening right now, and Karachi is a city that really comes alive at night. There's not so much going on in the day. This is partially because of how very extremely hot it is in the daytime. It's just so crazy. There's a go kart going by. So once the sun goes down and it starts to cool down, like right now, then everybody starts coming out, and it's common for people to start going out of their house around one in the morning to start the evening. Uh, so I think I'll be having late dinners here. Can't wait to explore more of this place. Let's go. Okay, another first impression of Pakistan. This is a night that I will not be forgetting. So I went out with Nada and some more new friends. Everybody is just hanging out at these open air cafes or by the side of the road there will be little cafes. And we went to a chai shop. It was my first time having a Pakistani chai and chai mean tea. Well, you're going to be seeing a lot more of it in this series because because I have not stopped drinking. <laughs> we ordered some food and it was amazing. This food is so exquisitely delicious. So right now, Nada is helping me explore a market here and helping me shop for some clothes. This one looks really beautiful. You want this? Everything is so colorful and beautiful. She's bargaining for me right now. She's what? Bargaining. What's that? Bargaining if it is at 10 or I'll be five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Bunch of food street, food street, you know. Traffic is crazy in my city. Okay, that was great. No rules, no regulation. Just straight on. <laughs> okay, now we are going for dinner. All of a sudden it got really windy. There's sand everywhere. I probably should have my camera out. Okay. <laughs> Sand is strong. That was a sandstorm. It was crazy because it just came out of 
nowhere. One second we were walking into the restaurant, the next second just getting blasted by sand. There's so much sand in my teeth and my eyes. So if you guys know me, you probably know that wherever I go, in order for me to truly fall in love with the place, I need adventure and exploration. The first ancient site that I went to did not disappoint. We have just been driving through the most remote desert for quite some time and now we have reached this epic fort. This is the biggest fort in the world. I can't wait to go inside. to even describe how epic this place is it is called it's Monaco. modeling there oh sorry so <laughs> much, which means queen's village or queen's town and it, this fort was founded by cyrus the great in 540 bc this fort is so very old and so much of it actually they don't know about the history yet a lot of the history that we are hearing about here just comes from the local people and their own stories in this area that have been passed down there are all of these walls surrounding the fort that i'm walking on right now and they are comparable to the great wall of china they are actually older than the great wall of china there's all these corridors and stairs and twisting little pathways and here's another staircase down here right now this is such a sense of exploration and discovery it's huge so it's pretty hard to feel like you've seen all of it Wow, does this remind you guys of anything? This is still part of the fort. We were driving for so long. It's crazy how long we were driving and that we're still in the fort because the defensive walls of this fort encompass 30 square kilometers, which is a huge amount. These were the defensive walls of the fort protecting the main area at the heart of the property. Another amazing first impression that I had in Pakistan that I wasn't really um, expecting or I guess like looking for was, um, I don't know, just the sense of uh, peace. That's the best word that I can think of to describe it. A sense of peace within the culture. This was kind of just a feeling that I got and like in a lot of conversations that I had with the new friends that I was making, um, kind of difficult to pinpoint. But one thing that I can use as an excellent example. Guys, I have come to St. Patrick Cathedral here in Karachi and it just so happens today to be Palm Sunday. I have to admit, I was a little surprised when a local recommended that I go visit a church in Karachi. There's a church in Karachi. What was most moving to me was to see people of other religions coming to visit the church too. There was a Muslim man walking around observing. He called over one of the priests to explain the holiday for him, and the two men actually sat down together for quite a while. There was no hint of animosity or separation, just two people talking. This church is so beautiful, it's massive inside. It was built in 1878. Something that I have just now learned that I think is so interesting is that there are a variety of religions in Pakistan and just within Karachi there are over 300 churches. Religious tourism is very popular here. Diversity of religion being celebrated and embraced by people. Something that I also just learned is that the green of the Pakistani flag 
represents Islam, which is the majority religion, but then the white parts of the flag represent all of the other religions included in Pakistan. This sort of thing is so great to see in the world, and honestly I wasn't really expecting that in Pakistan, and it's something that I found not only in this first video, like the first impression, but all over Pakistan as well, so um, yeah, it was just uh, really encouraging to see that for myself. Guys, I am here at the Lal Shahabaz Kalandar Shrine and it is so beautiful. It's just beyond beautiful. It's a feeling of peace and also energy in here because I was just in the hall over there. There's this spirit of celebration. You can see that the ceiling is... What? The atmosphere is just so welcoming and all, all of the people are so friendly. And of course, it is amazingly beautiful. It's very busy here. Locals have come from maybe a long way away to pray, and uh, this is a very famous shrine. They, they call it Dhamal. The, the way they he dancing, they call it Dhamal. Okay guys, I hope that you liked this video about my first few days and impressions here in Pakistan. I have so many more Pakistan adventures coming up for you guys and I cannot wait to show you. See you there. Bye! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that really was... nice place. Oh, I'm so happy to see Pak's Karachi after a long time. But I want to go there <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's um... The traffic is absolutely No, there is a no crazy. rules. Yeah, there is a no rules. So can you just drive at any age? <laughs> you can drive whenever you Did want. Did you used to drive? Yeah. Really? I got bike. <laughs> the uh like I don't have car in my home but I just got bike which I'm driving. I used to work in a bank. I mean, is the no travel? It's like their buses are like here. You have to have like the door shut, and your seatbelt. No, 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 no. <laughs> the people are. <laughs> let, let me show you a uh, uh, few few pictures. I'll show you. Let's just wait. Look at that. We go like that. Oh my god. <laughs> You sit on the roof. <laughs> if I sat on the roof, yeah, I'd get arrested. <laughs> we just look. This mean you can whenever you find a space, just go in there. Because in the morning it's too busy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I got. Look at them. <laughs> they try to climb up. <laughs> oh, so. Is it expensive for a bus? No, no, it's a cheaper. I mean, yeah, you can cheap. Um, I don't know how much I don't I can't remember when I used to work. 15 rupees if I convert in the pounds. Um, 3, 4, four five, 10 pence. Whoa. Um, 
There's something else I was going to say as well. That storm, does it just happen like that? Yeah, it's just random. It's sandstorm. They're quite a lot. In... Does everyone like go then when it comes? What's that? Yeah, people are there. Just... So basically, is that why you're basically like up all night? Is because you would be up all night there? Yeah. Yeah, because they said, didn't they, that most people come out of their homes yeah, at night. Yeah, the night. Because in the, I mean, in the mor morning or especially afternoon or evening, there's a temperature so high, 40, 45 degree. So you can't walk in 40, 45 degree. You can't feel like you've gone burn. So, so like, do you have air conditioning or anything Yeah, like I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and not everyone like... got... As soon as she walked into that hotel, mm -hmm. I was so shocked. Why? I didn't think your hotels were like. I don't know why, but I just didn't think that your hotels were like that. No, we like got... they're better than. Like I just want to move there. They're no, we got very here. big hotels, like um, five star hotels. Yeah. But before I met you, like I would not have looked at this stuff, and now I've looked at it, I want to move there. <laughs> It looks so cool. Like, in this video as well, you know when she went and got the new clothes? Mm -hmm. Do you have to wear that? Like, if I went over there, would I have to wear one? Yeah, you need to respect the culture. You need to wear that that clothes. But you need to wear the clothes in a decent way. Mm. I mean, choose whatever you like, but choose decent clothes. Not expose them, you know. So, yeah, when they're wearing their clothes, though, mm -hmm. what do you call them? Shalwar kameez. Yeah, them. Um, <laughs> doesn't it get, like, really, really hot? Like, obviously, no. when you're out. If you're out in, like, look, 40, look, look, degrees, look, 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 look. There is a fabrics in Pakistan. Summer fabrics different. Winter fabrics different. Like, this fabric is too, too thick. This is for winter. If I be wearing a t-shirt, light t-shirt, that's called for summer. So that's the same thing in women's dresses. Because like in that picture there, can you see that boy? He's mm. got like trousers and t-shirt. Yeah. I, I'm just so shocked. <laughs> like the bus, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to go there like... Oh, it's just want to see the light. Yeah. yeah. It's Because like looking at it, it's amazing. But like if I went there, I'd probably never come back. <laughs> it just looks so cool. Like, so why was that other lady? What's it called? Where you the money thing? Bargaining. Yeah. Why yeah. was the? Why wasn't the lady that was doing the video? Why wasn't she doing it? Because our women are ex expert in bargaining. Isko pata nahi hamari ammaay. So what? So if you sorry, I'm just just telling. You know, I don't know what my husband and my wife are doing. Bargaining. Calling me stupid. No, I didn't. I was talking about I mean our woman in Pakistan. If someone tell if she wanna go buy something, and the sailor say, oh, I want twenty quid on that, just for example, she straight gone and I can give you three pound for that. Imagine. Yeah, but do you guys not do it then? Like Me? Men? No, we are chill people. Our men are chill. How much? 100 quid. Take it ready, yeah. Give it. Just like that. <laughs> if we went in shopping, like guys, going that side after 10 minutes out, if women go, oh my god. <laughs> I don't like shopping, so I'd be in, out. <laughs> It is an incredible place. So is that where you was brought up? Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a good video. There's a lot of things. But I think it's part one and part two. Bhi aega, definitely. So we'll do inshallah in part two. Bhi. But thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your love. Ka. Please like and subscribe our channel. और हमारा फेसबुक पेज जरूर ज्वाइन करिएगा वन लव रिएक्शन के नाम से तो वहां पे भी वीडियो होती है उसको भी लाइक कर दो बड़ी मेहरबानी होगी बाकी आपको यू वांट टू से समथिंग आउट
I've spoke for most of it. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Allah Hafiz. Apna khayal rakhega. See you later. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Yo, some boy. Run that beat, blood. Thank you.